Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, I'd like to show you uh, rewards of Season 8. Uh, I will have timestamps down below in the video description so you can maneuver through all of the items. Uh, but do have in mind that I've excluded uh, caps, atoms, player icons, you know, another bunch of <laughs> not needed stuff. I've also excluded the uh, paints for the armors, such as like wooden armor. And I did show the leather one, but then I decided to exclude everything else because in reality, man, we are like in 99.99% we're using uh, outfits. So n basically nobody sees those uh, s uh, items that we use on uh, the character. We could have seen them in Nuclear Winter, but uh, it was removed. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> now I don't see the point of those uh, paints on the actual armor. Like, wooden armor, leather armor, robot armor, marine armor, and so on and so forth. That's why I've excluded those as well. And I've excluded the yellow paints of power armor. T-45, blah blah blah, because it's yellow. It doesn't do anything. So I've excluded those as well. I have included all others though. <laughs> Alright, so uh, use the timestamps to maneuver through all of the items. Hope you will find this video useful. And let's stop wasting time. Jump right into the show. Alright, so the first item that you can unlock and build, it's at rank 5, so as soon as you reach rank 5, it's called the exercise uh, bike, right? So you can build it at the MISC structures, and uh, to me, this is the first item that I see, right? So if I scroll a little bit, here's the bike, and essentially, like everything else, it gives uh, a buff as soon as you kind of like start using it. Right, so the bike itself, if I'm not mistaken, kind of like reminds me of, uh, what do you call it, uh, nuclear winter bikes, remember those? At the lobby we had them? I think that's the you one, right? Or maybe not, I don't know. So essentially like for 30 seconds or up to a minute once you exercise, you should be getting uh, like notification that you got a buff, I believe, it should be like that. Alright, hold on a second, let's move out, there we go. You feel fit, adrenals increased by 2, so pretty cool. Alright, the next item in the menu would be the vault bed. It's actually vault twin bed, and that's how it looks like right here. And in order to open it, you need to get to rank 8. And uh, I do also would like to mention that I've skipped the Free States wood, uh, wood paint because I did not own any wood uh, armor whatsoever. But I sure do have the bed. There you go. We also actually have other types of beds available, right? I'm going to show you those in just in a second. And uh, where you can find in order to build this bed is in the building menu where your bed section is. So if you open the build menu, go to the beds, and there you'll find your beds. So as I said, we do own other types of beds. So this is Atomic Shop probably version. I don't remember where I got these, so do have in mind. Uh, then we have this bed as well also kind of vault tech and it looks like it's not atomic shop as you can see ooh interesting what's that anyway so that's the bit <laughs> next item on the menu is the robco jumpsuit which you can lock by reaching rank 12 and it's actually just the suit i didn't get that hat and i think it's an atomic shop hat version and i would also love just to get these type of pictures right so it's kind of like not misleading because, you know, you can think, okay, I get that hat too, but in reality, you don't. So, keep kind of like these type of uh, references to the item. So, for example, from different sides and stuff like that, but without displaying anything else that uh, a consumer might think that uh, he's going to get that too. But anyway, this is not the Atomic Shop. This is rewards that you're getting. So, if you get it and you don't get the hat, oh well. <laughs> but for the Atom, Atom Shop re product review, I would definitely recommend to keep it like PNG. Like, remove anything else that is not included within the bundle, right? Because people might... I, I know that personally because I bought stuff personally thinking that that is included and it wasn't included. 
Anyway, so uh, the jumpsuit. Here we go. That's the jumpsuit. Well, it's kind of um, just an, another jumpsuit. We have a tons of these jumpsuits, which, man, I don't know. Like, for roleplay, maybe if you plan to do a Robco, I don't know, something, maybe that will work. But in reality, I mean, my personal opinion, this thing is just taking up space. Like, look how much, how, how, how many, like, by the way, in order to craft that, essentially you will need to go to your outfit section and uh, go to the R and you will get your uh, uh, jumpsuit. But what I was talking about is that we have a trazillion of those jumpsuits available. Look at these. Jump, 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 <laughs> Alright, you go to letter R, you find it, and you're done. And I think I need to move to... Uh, let's go to that to my vault because the sun is going down. <laughs> Alright, the next item would be Purple Floater Mobile. Mobile. I do apologize, I am from Ukraine, so sometimes I mispronounce stuff. Don't judge me hard. So there we go. That's the PNG. Okay, looking good. And let's take a look at it right over here. So I've built it just on floating as, you know, inside the, sh inside the shelter there is no such thing as gravity. And there you go. And it's actually also making some sound, so I'm, I'm gonna zoom out from the uh, photo mode and show you what type of a sound it makes. Make sound. Make sound. It was making more sound, what the hell? By the way, where you can build them is a wall decor. If you have this item, then this is the item that first might show up for you because that's what's showing up for me, and then you scroll over here. Oh, they're all making the same sound. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, that's how you go. I still like this one better. <laughs> this one is the Atomic Shop version, and it's one of the very old ones. <laughs> I still like that one better. Alright, so the next one is the Free States Leather Paint, uh, which you can unlock on uh, rank 18. So there we go. As we can see, there's a few versions of the leather armor, and I have them on the mannequin. So this is the light armor, right? The light version of the leather armor. That's how it looks like. And this is the heavy one. Okay, <laughs> we're back to the first seasons. Remember where we had uh, like Gilly, we had the uh, sort of a communist looking style. Hold on, I think I have those. So basically what you need to do is go to your armor workbench and for example you build a heavier uh, leather armor chest, you switch to modify, how do you, oh there you go, switch to modify, oh there we go, I have an example. Uh, you go, ah, Red Viper, there you go. This one was full at first. This is, I think, Atomic Shop or one of the seasons, I don't remember. This is the new one, and we got the Gilly. I'm actually going to put this one in Free States. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Alright, so the next thing that I'd like to review and actually also make a side comment that I'm ad adding additional things I'm not going to show within the rewards within Season 8. I'm not. I'm going to stop showing these uh, Free States leather paints for a reason is that, well, uh, mainly we all use uh, outfits. So essentially there's no big use out of these things, right? Secondly, I don't have all of the armors to display that. I could build those, but that's a waste of material, I believe so. Uh, so you can just review them right here in, in, in this menu. <laughs> I'm going to skip that one. Plus, I'm also going to skip the power armor yellow paint, which is kind of stupid, and I wouldn't consider this to be a, a rare reward, uh, because it doesn't really change anything, so I do have a T45. I'm going to show you how it looks like. So in this 
one specifically we're going to take a look at t45 yellow paint but i am going to skip the yellow paints for power armors as well as they are pretty much useless and just taking up space in our paints well my personal opinion uh don't judge me hard but if you want to you can do that in the comment section uh yeah so that's uh t45 right here and it's yellow <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that that's that's pretty much it. It's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next two items is gonna be on rank twenty five, which is Sam the ally, and uh, this follow first uh, dinner wall light. So I'm just gonna show you Sam. Here's Sam. I'm not gonna do communication with him, not to prevent, money. like, to prevent any types of spoilers or uh, talk about any quest lines that he gives. This is his station, and that's the lamp that you get if you own Fallout first, which is uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> so the light, you can find it in the light section uh, with this light, right? The default one. And essentially, the ally basically, you go to your uh, allies, right? And you'll find this uh, sort of armor, I mean, weapon workbench, but it's got a guitar. Uh, also, it looks like we also have a, a separate skill for our weapon armor uh, workbench, which kind of like is identical to what he has. So, for example, and that's a Fallout First as well thing. So, if we put it over here. Uh, if I have it, no, it, I don't have it. But I remember that we also have this same similar thingy uh, for uh, our, well, you know, weapon workbench. <laughs> so man, how you done? Let me dress you up back so you look nice and stylish. So, assign, 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 assign. Remember, you can dress them up. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, next item is also a follow first, so if you own follow first, you can unlock a yellow door. <laughs> On rank 35, and it looks good. There <laughs> you go. Good looking door. <laughs> now don't tell me you don't like it. I like it. <laughs> there you go, look at it. Look at that beautiful door, man. It's the best. Alright, the next item is level... Oh, sorry, my bad. Rank 36. And you get the Rooster Metal Box. There you go. And it's considered to be legendary? Like, I'm looking at the patch notes over here just to see... Wait, hold on. What does it say here? Yeah, <laughs> it's considered to be a legendary. Well, I wouldn't call it legendary. Uh, n not because it's just a, you know, a mailbox. If it were to be something legendary, it would be really nice if you could interact with this thing. Or maybe it's not interactable within the shelter. I don't know, but usually all of the items that you can interact with uh, on the outside world are also interactable uh, in the shelter, so I wouldn't say that this thing is interactable, right? You, you can't change anything. I've tried multiple times, although I didn't try outside, but you know, well, okay. <laughs> so, uh, rank 36. All right, now we got some good, man. The black modular mainframe. <laughs> And this thing is considered to be rare. To be honest, I would mark this legendary and not this rooster as a legendary. Personal opinion. So, that's how it is. You get a whole bunch of stuff. So, let me show you how it looks. Look at that. Now, that is cool. That I like really much. And check this out. Definitely can make some really good looking, I don't know science base or something so uh, let me get rid oh and they stack so if I, for example let me show you how to build that so there we go you can find these computers sort of right at the floor decor 
and this is the first version, the second version, the third version, so it kind of like moves, fourth version, another version, and another version, and another version, and another version, and that's it. And look, now this is cool, this I like. So that once again, in order to get this, you need to rank to rank 46. All right, and on rank 50, we got another pretty cool skin uh, for our chemistry st station, right? So this is probably, nah, I wouldn't say probably, this is the best one for the chemistry workstation. And uh, let me show you how it looks. So here it is. In order to build it, essentially, you need to go to your crafting menu, find your chem lab, and move. So if you interact with it, that's how it looks like. There's this thing moving around. On the back end, you can see like the robo thing moving around. So with some animation. Look at that. Now, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> that definitely I'm going to be using. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. So remember, this is uh, rank 50. Alright, so the next item is located at rank 55 and only if you have a follow first. So if you have a follow first and you reach rank 55, you will be able to claim modern, mutton rug, man. So that's how it looks like right here. The only thing is I spent quite some time to find if you can find this kind of like rug stands or whatever. And I wasn't able to. I was only able to build it on the floor. So. If uh, you can build it elsewhere, not just on the floor, please do comment down below because I did spend some time in trying to find it, but I wasn't find I wasn't able to find it, and you all know I have a lot a whole bunch of stuff. So I don't know if you can actually make it like hang or something, you know. So yeah, that's the rug. Follow first, rank 55. Let's go move on. Alright, so the next item we're looking at is the blue shag carpet, which is actually a skin for your uh, floor, foundations, and stuff like that. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, I also own a yellow one, so I made a Ukrainian flag, which I'm going to show you in a sec. Uh, but yeah, I would all, I'm like always say, I would always say, yeah, these ones, these type of skins, keep them coming, because, uh, you know, you can build a whole different types of different uh types of camps uh, modern and funny ones and whatever and the more of foundations the more of walls we get skins that is cool I, I would say keep them coming <laughs> but yeah let's take a look how it looks like in real there you go uh, this is just the floor right so in order to build it you can build it on the floors you can build it on the foundation there you go but I can't build it here, right? But you get the point, right? That's cool. Keep them coming, keep them coming. So once again, rank 56. All right, next item on the menu is on uh, rank 62, and that's the Vault Survivor Flare that you can put in your backpack, right? So let me show you how it looks like. I just made one, and there it is. Whoop, eh, disappeared. So let's move around. And in order to enable it, you will need to go to your armor workbench, click modify and repair, find your uh, backpack, go to the flare, which one you would like to replace. Like I have a whole bunch of these. I personally prefer Brotherhood of Steel one. Uh, put it on, use it, love it, enjoy it. Let's move on. All right, the next item uh, is actually a pretty cool one. It's a rifle paint for the railway one. So I believe this is the very first uh, paint for this weapon. I'm not quite sure because I had a, like a couple of months break from this game. And uh, you can unlock it by playing Season 8 essentially and reaching rank 66. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you uh, the weapon, how it looks like on the character. And then we're going to try to display it on a few display cases that I own. So that's the skin right there, definitely better than the default version, right? There we go. I think that's more than enough so we don't make it super long. You can you you can apply it to your weapon at the uh weapon workbench. You find your weapon, you go to uh default appearance or whichever you have and you apply the skin, right? 
So now I have uh, this option right here. So that's the default one that everybody should have. There we go. Looks good. I always like the default ones because they usually always work properly. So let me take that one back. Let's see if it works on the heavy stand. No, it doesn't. Then we have the high powered one. Usually the high power one is broken. I'm not sure if it was fixed or not yet. It looks bad because it kind of like eats it. Look at that. You can see like half of the weapon. So yeah, those ones, man, it's, I haven't played for months and this thing was released like uh, a few weeks before I took a pause, a big pause from this game. And as you can see, this thing still, uh, ain't working properly so then we got another and by the way this is follow uh, this is from the atomic shop and this is from the atomic shop as well so uh, let's see if you can display it here yes you can looks actually looks good actually looks really good look at that I like that so these ones are all from the same bundle I would say once if you will ever see it on the atomic shop so we're going to remove that one from there and remove the Tesla as well also and you can place it on this one as well looks good also gets a little bit eaten up but still looks good and let's see if you can put that one on the double one so on this one right here and yes you can so the double one looks like this Boom. also looks good I'll put it on the below one because uh, actually that looks nice uh, from over, and over there you can put some some a big weapon or something uh, let's remove that one and try to put this thing on top all right looks good there you go okay this is definitely something I'm happy to have I used to have I still have somewhere my railway bl bloodied one which made the ghouls kind of like stretch out in white springs <laughs> Maybe I should play with that one again. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Alright, let's move on. Alright, next item on the menu is the Silver uh, Candelier. Hope I pronounced that correctly. So there we go. That's how it looks like here. And that's how it looks like in reality. So actually, let me go into photo mode. There we go. From all sides. And actually, it is sort of usable through electricity it's not fire fire right so you can turn it on turn it off and it does consume a uh, light budget if if you build it right so there we go actually there's another thing I want to check out how much oh I remember this place was darker is there any dark corners in here just to see how much light it generates anyway I think this should be enough what the hell oh there is no light Anyway, that's what we get. <laughs> Alright, so the next item in the menu is actually also pretty cool. Uh, creams, uh, cream sofas. So it's a set, and you can stack them. Like, you can make it look really nice. So this is actually a pretty cool one. I don't remember we ever had anything of the same sort. Uh, so let me show you how that looks like. From visually, right? So you go. I have actually stacked it, and you can make an entire square if you want to. So then, in order to build those, you'll need to navigate to your um, building menu and to the chair section. So this is the first thing that you will see. So, for example, let me show you as an example. As you can see, you can build like that. Then you can, like, for example, the as I said, they stack, right? So then you can close the gap, for example and keep building right so stack 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 boom not bad huh <laughs> I like this one I like this one alright the next is a science guy pose so it's a pose right and you can get it if you reach rank 74 so let me show you that real quick you go to your photo mode poses and uh, there we go a pretty unique one huh toxic goo anybody you need to drop your HP 
Get the reds. Play bloody build. Let's go. <laughs> Use it. Drink it. Tasty. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Next item is the boss mailbox that you can achieve by having follow first the membership and reaching rank 75, right? So there we go. It's uh, marked as rare reward and this thing is marked as legendary reward. <laughs> and I would say that this thing looks better than that rooster. So uh, there we go. That's the thing right there. So if you have a fishing camp, you can use it. Also, this thing is not interactable. You can do pretty much anything with it. And in order to build it, you will need to go to your floor decors and build it. And my cat is going insane. So, a legendary version, rare version, legendary version, rare version. <laughs> that guy is good to have, right? That's, of course, uh, for this specific item, that's, of course, if you have the Fallout First membership, cat. What's wrong with you, man? Alright, so the next uh, is a power armor paint for the Hellcat. So, here we go. That's the Hellcat power armor. Bam, bam. And I have the power armor. So, let me show you how that looks. Boom. Actually, it looks dope. Looks good. And it is actually named a little bit differently from what is uh, shown to us on uh, the scoreboard. So if you own a lot of different types of items, you only need to look for something else. I mean, not a huge difference though, uh, but I'll show you just in case. So the power armor looks dope. That is true. And I'm pretty sure you, like with dark colors, you can make some really nice, decent, different types of mismatch of your uh, other type of skills I mean uh, skins so you, you will need essentially the power armor and you will need the power armor station click modify repair select what you want to change and you can change right so the name of this thing within the modding menu is the vault tech black paint so it's uh, everywhere vault tech black 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 hellcat so that's how it is ladies and gents pretty cool paint alright the next item on the menu is the silver collectron there we go so this item cannot be built inside a shelter so I had to go back to my camp and actually daytime there so it's I'll be able to show you around and it's a uh, silver it's very polished and ready to serve <laughs> so uh, I'm not quite sure what it actually gathers but it looks like as I said I've taken a big break from Fallout 76 and I've been away for four to six months. I don't really remember. So this is the collection all Would silver. You like to join my all good. Avenger but if you go to the terminal, it looks like you can make him to gather whatever. Silver, other materials, nuclear cola, and so on and so forth. So yeah. Pretty cool. Next item in the menu, rank uh, 82, would be the yellow curtains. They can actually stick to the wall and make make it look good. All right, so that's how it looks here, and that's how it looks like in real life. But there are a couple of types of uh, types of them, so I'm not sure which ones are actually included. Because on the screenshot, you can see these ones. I uh, built this one. So, for example, if I remove that, I don't know how I made them fly on the in the open air so don't ask but you can stick them to the wall and it actually looks good I remember I didn't use these because uh, they were kinda like bad but now it looks good so in order to build these you will need to go to your wall decor section and check it out here so yeah yellow white curtains yellow curtains so I think yeah it's, it's just all types of curtains but yellow color you go Alright, so next skin is a legendary one. Walt Tech paint for the 50 cal. Hello. So in order to apply it to your weapon, essentially you'll need the weapon, workbench, modify and repair. Go to your uh, 50 cal and apply. I've got this skin and this skin. So there we go. This is the new one. Walt Tech 50 cal. Alright, now let's take a look how it, work how it looks on the actual character. 
Uh, character. Here we go. And boom. Take it out. Boom. There you go. Looks good, huh? I like it. Hell yeah, I like it. It's all good. <laughs> now, if you want to display it, heavy stand, boom. Yes, sir. Let's see if you can put it elsewhere, like on this one, for example. Yes, you can. Boom. Uh, as I said, I like the default. Uh, the old ones more better than these ones like this one let's see how this is going to display usually this thing displays all the weapons really bad well with the big guns that's not an issue it eats up just a little bit of the gun but still it, I don't know I don't like that stand it's a waste of atoms to be honest uh, can we do that here looks like nope what about here looks like nope and what about here looks like no you can't Anyway, so that was the 50 cal skin. Let's move on. And I like it. Alright, the next item in our menu is a doorbell. Which is okay, I mean, it's, it's really good to have. So, it's uh, you can unlock it by reaching rank 88. And uh, that's how it looks like. That's how it is in real. On a glass door, I placed it so you can see it. Right? And you can interact with it. Anybody home? Knock knock. Man, look, take a look at what you got in your store. Hello. There's nobody there. <laughs> All right, so the next item we're looking at is the Vault Survivor backpack, which I actually didn't give a lot of credit before, but it actually looks pretty, pretty cool. I thought I didn't even put it on because I thought it was gonna be bulky just because of that box. But in reality, it actually looks good. How am I even going to use it? So this thing you can unlock by reaching rank 92. And uh, the way... Well, let me show it to you first. So that's the backpack. It's actually not that bulky as I thought it would be. It would, it would be. So it's got that axe. Pretty cool. It's got a rope. Alright. I mean, that is actually pretty cool. What do you think? Anyway, so to apply it, you will need your armor workbench, modify and repair your actual backpack, go to all of your skins and apply the skin that you want to apply, right? In our case, you got to go to letter V and there you go, Vault Survivor, that's how it's called. I actually like this backpack. Let me see if I can change the outfit a little bit. <laughs> Alright, next item is rank 93 and it's Vault 76 stain, so that's how it is. Boom. And that's how it looks like. So we got the vault stain of the of the man and the female character on both sides. Honestly, the first time I thought it's going to be two stains like uh, with Vault Boy and then you could also do a Vault Girl, but in reality it's not. So if you go to your floor decor and visit all of your stains over here, you can maneuver and find all the stains that you already own. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, the next item that we're going to look at is going to be a follow-up first item I do have in mind and you can get it as soon as you've reached the rank 95. And if you have a follow-up first subscription, you will be able to get this uh, weathered, hero, uh, weathered Hero of the Great War statue. We do have other options from the, uh, uh, from the Atomic Shop. This one also looks really nice. It's a good addition. And uh, here we go, that's how it is. You can interact with it. It shoots like all other tanks that we have through the atomic shop. And now let me show you how it looks like. Boom. It's actually looking pretty nice. Compared to others. You can build it at the floor decor section where all of your other tanks that you have. So I do have a uh, this option, this guy right here, and now this guy. 
This guy definitely looks more kind of like coolish, I would say. But anyway, they all look good. Unfortunately, you can build only one, <laughs> which kind of sucks. <laughs> I would love to put like a, a few tanks of different types. That would be nice. But unfortunately, you cannot do that. Anyway, let's move on. All right, and now we're going to cover a few items in a row. So we're going to cover the Volt uh, Survivor Hood, which is now one of my favorite outfits in the game. I mean, head wear outfits. Then we're going to also take a look at the Vault Survivor outfit. Uh, for me, I like that. But there's a lot of different types of outfits that you can combine with this Vault Survivor. I do also have a couple of things. And I'm going to show this Hot Rod Mailbox. <laughs> it's rare. And what the hell is it doing all the way at rank? What? Rank 97. <laughs> and it's not even legendary uh, like uh, like this one right here <laughs> I just can't they could have put in some real good hot cool, good stuff in here but no anyway so let's go and we're gonna start off with the outfit so that's the outfit boom I removed the backpack as you can see so you can see the outfit from different sides honestly it looks like a jumpsuit uh, like the Under Armour that we have Alt 76 uh, in combination with uh, light leather armor right but of course it's, it's got its own little bit of details and a little bit of uh, differences uh, but I don't know I do not like the outfit to be honest like this is definitely not something I'm gonna be using but the hood on the other hand oh hold on I forgot to remove the uh the the, the 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 raider pathfinder mask the hood on the other hand is good the only downside it could have been even better if the hood uh and the mask you know the googles googles would be a separated thing so we could do different types of combo combo but it's not as you can see if you remove the hood it removes everything right uh, but the good thing is, you can actually apply math, this Pathfinder mask, for example, right? It works. Uh, I haven't tried it with others, so let's do it together real quick. And take a surgical mask, for example. Uh, hold on. <laughs> this might take a while. <laughs> we gotta go all the way to the S. Okay. Uh, skull bandana. Alright, why not? Let's take it just to check it out. Stalker bandana, let's take it, and surgical mask. Alright, in theory it should work by the way. So, Stalker, there you go, it works, that means it works with all others, right? That actually looks pretty good, but I don't like the, those things sticking out from the hood, that sucks. And surgical mask, I think, the best combo right there, look at it. <laughs> but still, I prefer uh, this one, and I'm might even gonna use this outfit what do you think this outfit or this outfit now nah, I like this outfit more anyway so that's it and that's the mailbox right there rank 97 ladies and gents the most rarest thing you can get in Fallout 76 <laughs> all right let's move on and finally we got to rank 100 essentially as soon as you reach rank 100 you will get the uh, a better life underground game board that's our season 8 you will get 500 atoms you will get a target practice player icon and you will get first responders camp uh, camp kit build right I've built a little bit over here so that's the wall that's the door room that's a mini wall, mini wall, mini wall. I'll show you that right now in the building menu as well. All the options. So there's another type of wall, as you can see. I haven't, I'm not a pro builder, so although the roofs are looking nice as well, the roof options. So you got a chimney over there. That's nice. I haven't seen anything like it before. Anyway, so we'll start with the roofs. So these are the type of the roofs you can build, right? chimney one looks good this one right here so yeah I think that that's it from this one then you got this part this part this part 
this part, this one right here, this one right here, the mini one, the mini one, and the mini one, the doors, the doors, the doors, and the walls. Uh, if I've missed anything from that uh, camp kit, do apologize. As I said, I don't know where to find most of the things, and I think that there's going to be videos uh, that have discussed this type of a uh, camp kit separately, so you might want to look that up. Uh, but essentially, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it, found it useful, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. In short, my feedback about the season is average. I mean, I'm actually pretty satisfied with a couple of things. Uh, not something I would buy, but I did because I thought I was be I would be taking a, a even longer, uh, you know, pause break from the game. Uh, next season, I'm most probably gonna grind out because I don't want to spend the atoms on the season. Uh, it all depends. I'm not quite sure. We'll see what's gonna happen there. But essentially, um. I'm okay. I'm okay with the season. There are, there are a couple of things I really like. There's a couple of things I didn't understand. Um, and so on and so forth. It looks like we keep getting less and less. And we get like of good stuff. And keep getting like pretty much useless things. <laughs> well, that, that's my personal op opinion. You you do you, man. Anyway, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. And don't forget to smash those thumbs up and by the way uh, there's uh, upon recording of this video which is the 29th of March 2022 there is a war going on in Ukraine so if you want to help us out or if you're open to any charity donations I will have uh, two links to two different funds down in the video description uh, they're created by the NBU which is the National Bank of Ukraine one for the military side one for the humanitarian if you feel like uh, doing any type of support feel free to do so anything helps and once again, thanks a lot for all the support and love that you provide us all. So, Gamers League Soul Sign out. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye.